Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And welcome back. We'll begin with a quad cam set up, and they all have in common high, mid-level clouds out there. They get a little bit thinner the further north you go. Here's the latest. No dry and storm track live radar. It's going to look different at this time tomorrow. Likely a narrow band of uh, some snow moving through. And that's not East Grand Rapids, unless they did some major construction over there. That's actually Sault Ste. Marie. I wanted to show you this. Just forgot to change the banner there. Shipping lanes are open. That's actually a freighter in the Sioux uh, Canal right now. And the Sioux Locks can hardly see it because it's right now being lifted up. Nonetheless, 42 degrees in Grand Rapids currently, 43 Kalamazoo, 44 in the Muskegon area. And overall, fairly seasonably cool temperatures for this time of year. And I think we're going to peak, uh, for the most part, in the mid-40s out there. 45 in Nuego, 42 in Muskegon, 48 in Carson City. Although Muskegon, you're about there already, or a little bit above that. We're looking at 46 Grand Haven or Grand Rapids, rather, Wayland at 46. And very similar temperatures in our southern counties from Kalamazoo, Sturgis, to Wajak, and also South Haven. Uh, the wind, nice and light. Look at this at three miles an hour in Grand Rapids, gentle out of the west, even calm right around the I-94 corridor, you know, nine miles an hour in Muskegon. That's going to change, though, especially tomorrow as a cold front moves through. Not only will we see our wind shift, but they're also going to pick up a fair amount as that band of snow presses through the area. This is how it breaks down for today. I think we're going to end the day with lots of sunshine out there uh, with generally a nice sunny sunset and most of the night, I think, a clear sky. As we put this into motion, you'll be able to see that area of low pressure along with a fairly sharp cold front. It's going to just squeeze out enough moisture for a narrow band of snow that's probably only going to last a couple hours in any one location. But tomorrow morning, right around 7 o'clock, this could spell a little bit of issues out there, especially if you're traveling north on U.S. 131-31, M37 up towards uh, M20. That could uh, create some slippery spots early in the morning. Then that area of snow pivots to the south. It could mix in with a little bit of rain before it moves out of the viewing area. This is noon, so already in Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Big Rapids, we're drying out and sunshine returning. It won't take long for that sun to return and then uh, that area of snow and rain shifts to the east and opens up the door to a nice, beautiful sunset Wednesday evening as high pressure moves in. But it's not going to last long. Already on the backside of this high pressure system, southerly flow develops. You can just make out a warm front out there and enough moisture is going to build in. And I think we'll see a little bit of a rain snow mix develop, especially areas north of Grand Rapids by uh, looks like later uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, the snowfall future cast, you'll be able to see less than an inch, it looks like, in most areas. Prints out about one to two inches in the Allegan area, but that's just going to be on the grassy surfaces for the most part. Busy eight day forecast and uh, actually Actually, that rain snow mix for Thursday evening. You can see on Friday, solid 100% chance of rain. The best chance will be later in the afternoon, also in the evening hours. And yeah, we don't have not used that thunderstorm icon very often so far this year. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. I think areas south of Grand Rapids, a good chance. You'll see temperatures in the 60s for highs, a little iffy in Grand Rapids. Falling temperatures on Saturday, windy conditions with any rain changing over to snow. I don't think we're going to get much in the way of accumulation. And just like last weekend, it looks like we'll end the week weekend with some sunshine and dry conditions. That's always nice. It's a good way to end the weekend. We'll, yeah. we'll focus on that. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Matt.